Of course, this is my girl Lucy, my 20 foot reticulated python. And this of course is Lucy's baby, a beautiful Citron Tiger reticulated python. You may remember her dad that makes her a Citron is what they call a titanium and his name is Titan. And he is a bunch of energy. Uh, this should be fun. We've got to clean his cage. Let's just jump into it. So I've got Titan out right now and we're just kind of doing a little bit of clean up. Going to get him a little soaked too because he's got a little bit of stuck shed on him. And Titan used to be a quite a, an amazing animal and used to be able to handle him a lot. But boy, he has really changed his attitude a tremendous amount. There's no doubt about that. Titan, what is going on, buddy? I'm trying to work with this guy to kind of calm him down just a little bit. But I tell you what, he is definitely a feisty dude. There's no doubt about that. You can see, I mean, literally even getting close to him like this, like he's coming right at me. I mean, if I get close, he's going to try to bite me. What is going on? Titan, look at this thing, man. It is crazy. Woo. I can't even get close to him. I want to take him out and play with him a little bit, but I know I'm going to get get in trouble and he's got a pretty good lunge right so i'm just out of bite range right now i mean literally if i get any closer i'm going to get bit for sure Whew, gosh i can't get to him i literally it's rare that i get into a position where i can't actually do something with the snake that was unbelievably sketchy and, and again you just got to be really careful but as he's going if i just get him thinking oh no not under there Woo! Whoa, Jace. Woo! Jesus! Woo! Tight! Whoa! 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 How do I get this guy? I tell you what, this is one sketchy snake. Whoa, no, no! This puts all my handling skills to the test. Because he's wanting to swing back around on me right now. So, we're just going to get this guy soaked, get the shed off him, and then get him back home. He is definitely a handful. He used to be really nice. What a trip. Okay, tight. Into a soak. Been a minute since we've fed some snakes on the vlog, so let's go ahead and see if Verde wants to eat. You wanna eat, girl? Come on, baby. Oh yeah, she's ready. Here she goes. There you go, there you go, baby girl. Woo hoo, <laughs> love it. Uh, again, Ivy's in shed, so we're not feeding the big anaconda, so hey, we gotta feed a little anaconda. It's been a minute since I've been in the anaconda cage. To be honest with you, with just so many eggs and so busy with so many different things, I still want to come in every now and then. And of course, my girl Ivy is in the water right now. She's about ready to shed, so she probably won't come and say hi to me, unfortunately, because she's just in that shed stage. But I did find it interesting that Aries was right here on this rock, right underneath the heat lamp for about a week, just chilling out. But guess what? He moved, and where he moved was right up here on top of the tree right there. Now, that is weird. I love when he does that. He does it every now and then. It's probably his second or third favorite place in the enclosure and people often say like where's Aries and I always say oh it's, uh, it's find and seek go ahead and see if you can find him and it always takes people a long time but that's right he's hanging out right up here at the top of the tree chilling out it feels great to be back in my anaconda cage even if I can't interact with my girl Ivy uh, I still love it in here it's definitely one of my tranquil places there are times that we need to join movements movements that we really believe in we need you right now to join the movement and that movement is the reptile army that's right we are trying to enlist some soldiers for the reptile army that are gonna go out and join forces to spread the love of reptiles around the world. That's right, the Reptile Army is all about educating people. 10% of the proceeds go to US Art, but 100% of the proceeds go to educating people around the world about reptiles. So go to reptilearmy.com and join the army. We need you. Yeah. All right, guys, back at it. Cranky Mikey, Dazzy J. Junior. Junior. Let's do it. Junior, would you like to come out and play, bubbas? <laughs> Tag in. I tagged him in. Right. Good job, Mikey. Good job. Just get in there, Mike. I'm going. Here. Ah. Okay. Good job. What's the matter? It's just my leg. Yeah, well, it's like the size of my whole body. Wow, Mike. Wow. Good job. Okay. Good job. Oh! Turn him around the other way so I can get him. I got him. No, I, yeah, you got him out now. He's my, my turn buddy. I got him. That's all you? Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, God, what the flip happened? Hey, Junior, use your brain. Use your brain. Mr. Brian says, use your think. brain. Think. Oh, my God, my hand's getting cut up. What's new? What's this wrong with him? Yeah, honestly, look at him. You don't there, we go. there we go. It's fine. Kevin McCurley spin. Always work. We really want to get Junior here, just like Taz, just to be able to walk around. Kids pet him when he's done with it, walk back in his enclosure. Yeah. Um, so we just got to start to take... 
We want to do this without getting without bit. Without that. So yeah, we just have to keep working with him and honestly, as you see, really not even holding him. Like, he really has calmed down just from even five minutes ago when I take him out. Stop touching him. From five minutes ago when I took him out. So yeah, we're just gonna keep doing this every day. <laughs> we gotta Kiss desensitize him. Kiss him. Oh, absolutely. Whoa. Absolutely. I would not recommend it at all. I'll get a kiss from his tongue. Watch your toes. So I'll let him climb. Kevin. Whoa! This was a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad thought. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's using yeah. his brain. Good job, Junior. Look at So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to pick him up and put him back and just end on a good note here. This next clutch of Python eggs, of course, is a the heck caramel, and Mama does not look happy with me. Oh. Yep, she's definitely not happy with me. And she's actually bred to one of the cleanest of all of my banana projects, which is actually a banana fire pinstripe. There's just so much cleanliness in this. It's amazing. No black dotting, super clean. So I can't wait for these eggs to hatch. Let's see what mama has. I tell you what, like I said, mama is not happy. I don't know how I'm going to do it. There he goes. See, I usually use the strike. And then when they recoil, I have a chance to get to them, right? So these are a nice small eggs right here. It does look like there's one little infertile egg, but the rest of them look pretty good. I got keep an eye on mama too so she doesn't come and get me so we'll go ahead and get these in the egg box it's amazing how small and how python eggs can vary so much right i mean these are like half the size of a lot of other eggs but she only had six good eggs and one slug which is kind of surprising because when they're usually this size there's a lot of eggs so it's kind of weird that she only had six eggs this size but nevertheless baby should hatch out fine it's going to be awesome to cut these in just 57 days this girl here which is actually a hat lavender snow california king snake so basically if you ever wonder what you'd find out in the wild in california this is what it would look like this is actually what they call a coastal phase there's also the black and white or what they call desert phase but this is the coastal face and it's actually hat for purple right that's right the lavender is that purple and yellow banded one and then the lavender shows don't have the yellow band so this one will have both lavenders and lavender shows and holy moly that's a lot of eggs for a little girl i was expecting maybe five eggs at the most but who doggy look at that that's two four six eight ten eleven eggs from that little girl eleven eggs and those are nice size eggs who doggy she spent a lot of energy that is one good snake mama every now and then i just come down and admire snakes and i think that's important you know because we're working with these animals so much but every now and then you've got to take the time to actually enjoy them too this happens to be just a pastel champagne ball python so a two gene animal not too difficult to make for sure but absolutely stunning another simple animal here two gene animal this is a fire and it's a cypress but ooh, doggy look at how beautiful that thing is as it's getting bigger it's getting better and better and that's what that cypress gene does just cleans it up to make that big stripe on the dorsal and just makes that thing incredible this one happens to be a super pastel lesser leopard clown ball python so again it's the double gene of pastel making it the super it's the lesser which is an incomplete dominant it's the leopard and then of course the recessive clown ball python but all together who doggy that's a good one it's a boy and i should really raise this thing up because it would be beautiful but the truth is i actually have another male that will be up to size this coming year so i don't really need it but boy i don't want to sell it it's too beautiful my guys diddy and dixie here love them to death they're actually doing a little courting here a little bit earlier so i wonder if this will be the year you know they're at that age where they could potentially have babies and uh he's definitely doing courting of course dixie is over here just chilling out with me i love these guys so much would it be crazy to get eggs from these guys and actually hatch little babies baby Diddy and Dixies. It would be absolutely amazing because again, I love them to death. Definitely some of the coolest animals I've ever worked with in my entire life. I mean, look at this little doggo here. I mean, this thing is just absolutely incredible. Who could think that you could have a relationship like that with a reptile? You guys really have to let me know down in the comments if you want to hear more of this. Eight time, eight time, eight time. Eight time. Eight time. Eight time. Or are you getting sick of it? I never get sick of eight time. And hey, to me, the eight time song is what it's all about, right? So let me know in the comments what you think. And I'm excited about this particular clutch right now because it's been a couple years since we've had a normal leucistic Texas rat snake to leucistic Texas rat snakes. Most of the ones that we breed are actually scale and stuff. So this is actually just just a pure leucistic Texas rat snake. And where are you going, you little monkey? Get over here, get over here. Come on, come on, little monkey. Oh, wait, what, what's going on? All right, so look at how beautiful that is. Just a white, pearly white snake. Got those beautiful eyes. Whoa, mama's not happy. What in the world is wrong with you? She's like, you stealing my eggs? I'm gonna bite you. And sometimes Texas rat snakes can have a little bit of an ornery attitude, but hey, listen, I'm gonna love her nevertheless. I don't care. And let's go ahead and just take, pull these eggs aside real quick. Looks like we've got one little slugger right here and actually another little slugger here. So we only have two, four, five good eggs. 
two slugs, look everywhere else. So not a very big clutch, but hey, I don't complain because that's five beautiful white snakes are gonna be hatching pretty soon. Look at this one here. This is a crazy, just kind of non-patterned animal. It's actually a super pastel. It's a spinner, which be the spider in the pinstripe. It's an NG and an extreme gene. I mean, wow, that's a lot of genes in there. And it just turns out to be almost a patternless animal with a little bit of speckling on it. That one turned out cool, man. I tell you, I like this one a lot. And talking about that cypress gene that always has that dorsal striping on it, this happens to just be a pewter cypress. So basically it's a pastel, it's a cinnamon pastel, and it's a cypress ball python, but it has that really cool stripe that goes down its back. And it's amazing how different snakes look as they get a little bit of size to them. This happens to be a banana pastel enchi clown. And again, when it was a baby, it was really pretty, but now that it's getting some size and it's getting that glow to it, Ooh, doggy, that is absolutely gorgeous. Again, another snake that I would love to just sneak over to the keeper rack because that thing is just an absolute ripper. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, can you do me a favor? Right over here is a playlist. You can watch a couple more videos. It really does help me a lot. Over here, can you do me a favor? Hit that subscription button. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.